Washington State is usually known for its wet coastal climate with lush forests, but the eastern region of the state couldn't be any different. We'll be looking at a prison in the southeast corner of the state, Washington State Penitentiary. It holds some of the most dangerous men in the northwest. Let's get into it. Located in the southeast corner is Walla Walla, Washington. Named for the indigenous people of the area, there is also a river of the same name that runs near the city. It is also at the base of the Blue Mountains. Walla Walla means place of many waters. The city has a population of just over 34,000. The area is known for its vineyards and wineries, producing some of the most well-known wine in the country. The city is much hotter than most of the state, with average highs in the summer reaching 86 degrees. This area is a different world compared to Seattle, which is about a four-hour drive. Many of the violent men in the state are sent to Washington State Penitentiary, which is located within the city limits of Walla Walla. We'll start with some prison facts before moving on to violent incidents and notable inmates. The prison is one of the oldest facilities in the country, opening in 1886, before Washington was even a state. The prison is also known as the Walls among inmates at the facility. It is the second largest facility in the state behind Coyote Ridge Correction Center. Washington State Penitentiary has a capacity of 2,439. As of October 2022, the current population is 1,932. The facility has two intensive management units that opened at the prison in 1984. At that time, it was considered a state-of-the-art concept with 96 beds. According to Washington State Department of Corrections, it was designed on the principle that no one incarcerated individual or ever staff gets hurt. A tall task to complete in a unit intended to hold the most violent in the system, Washington State Penitentiary housed death row for the state until it was abolished by the state Supreme Court in 2018 in the case of State v. Gregory. There were eight men on death row at the time it was abolished. Their sentences were commuted to life in prison. Washington was the only state with active gallows to carry out hangings before it was abolished. There have been five executions at the facility since 1976, the last being in 2010. Cal Brown was executed for the assault and murder of Holly Washa. He was on parole for a sex crime at the time of the murder. The first execution at the facility occurred in 1906. Before we get into some of the recent events and notable inmates at the prison, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content. Starting in March 2002, over several months, more than 100 inmates became sick with a bacterial infection through the prison food, which is later attributed to pigeon feces. The food handling techniques were revised following the incident. In June 2021, the air conditioning at the facility stopped working. This is when the deadly heat dome had formed in the region. It was reported that the temperature in some cells was 114 degrees. The heat even set off the fire alarm. Considering that some Texas prisons don't have air conditioning, Washington State inmates may not have too much to complain about. In 1997, inmate John Allen Lamb escaped from the prison. Lamb escaped from the intensive management unit by cutting through a plexiglass light fixture and then climbing through the ductwork. He climbed two razor wire top fences without being seen. Lamb was caught just a few hours after, attempting to hitchhike. When the officer approached him, he said, You got me. Lamb had previously attempted to escape by stealing a prison truck and ramming it into the fence, but was caught after failing to break the fence. A large fight in a housing unit occurred at the facility in 2012. A fight between two inmates in the IMU led to others joining the fray with shanks. Four officers were injured after attempting to intervene. Over 60 officers responded and were able to get the situation under control. In the videos, officers seemed to not know what to do. In an odd move, officers working in this close custody unit were not issued OC spray, which could have contained the situation. A spokesman for the WDOC said, The silver lining is that the public will get to see how challenging it is to manage one of the highest risk prison units in the state. In March 2022, an inmate serving life for murdering his family was himself killed at the facility. David Cross was on death row, but when it was abolished in 2018, he was moved to another housing unit to serve his life sentence. While in prison, Cross attempted to take his own life not once, but twice. On his final attempt, he fractured his skull and cervical column, rendering him a paraplegic. Cross was found dead in the shower and a suspect was quickly moved to the IMU. The last death of an officer at the prison occurred on June 15, 1979. Sergeant William Cross was stabbed during a disturbance at the prison. Following his death, the facility was placed on lockdown for 130 days. George Simmons was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. He would later take his own life. The facility houses many well-known offenders, which could be its own video. We'll take a look at two of the more infamous inmates. 
Quite possibly the most infamous inmate at the facility is serial killer Gary Ridgway, also known as the Green River Killer. He was convicted of 49 murders, making him the second most prolific serial killer in United States history. In one of his confessions, Ridgway called murdering young women his career. He pled guilty to avoid the death penalty and agreed to disclose the locations of his other victims' bodies. Ridgway was moved to Washington State Penitentiary in January 2004. In 2015, he was transferred to USP Florence. After public outcry, he was returned to Washington State Penitentiary a month later where he has remained. Another serial killer at the facility is Jack Spillman, also known as the Werewolf Butcher. In 1995, he was convicted of murdering three people, a mother and her two children, in their home. He later admitted to another murder and led police to the shallow grave. Spillman would confess to his cellmate that he wanted to be the world's greatest serial killer. Spillman was featured in an episode of Evil Lives Here. His two sisters tell their experience living with the killer. Washington State Penitentiary is likely the most dangerous facility in the state. It has a long history of housing some of the most dangerous men in the Northwest United States. Who knows how much longer this facility will be open given its age. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my state prison playlist by clicking here. As always, see you next time.